Good afternoon, guys. How are you all doing? Ah, finally, the day is here. Season 7 is right around the corner. Don't worry, by the way, I do have uh, the video here available in the background. So I am keeping an eye on it. We're not going to miss anything. But I thought it would be funny if we watched this together, uh, those of you that want to at least. And then we're going to go over some thoughts and some feelings. And of course, once the trailer's done, hopefully DICE are going to release some further information uh, about Season 7 that we can dig through and uh, see what that looks like together. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Lots more to come on Season 7 in the future. So I'm super excited for this. I think most of us know what we're going to see here, but nevertheless, this is going to be uh, pretty interesting, I think. Okay, that was the AK-5C, I think, already. So one part of the leak is correct. Skins look kind of cool, man. Definite chili, Chilean vibes there. Nomad squad, there are more coalition forces incoming. The village cannot fall. This fight is all or nothing. Affirmative! Nomad squad on the move! Wait, is that the... That's the Scorpion. That's the CZ3, man. I think it is. That AK-5C again there that that soldier's holding. We've got some South, South American vibes in the music. <gasps> the straw. No, dude. What? Oh my god. Those helicopter pilots are going to be sad. <laughs> okay, two maps. It's the stadium, man. I knew it. I knew it. Stadium Qatar. Okay, okay. I don't hate this. Haven. There we go, AK if I see SCZ and the Predator Straw. Damn, this leap was spot on, man. But where is my baby? Come on, show it to me. Where is my baby? Where is my new air vehicle, guys? Enough of the skins. Give me the goods. No, come on. Tell me there's more. What was that? What was that huge EMP? <gasps> oh my god. What? Oh, dude, it's actually got a cloaking system. X Fad 4. Hey, it's called the the Ghost, the Druger. That's actually Icelandic. Damn, that was pretty awesome. Uh, that looks super cool. So the second map is the stadium. Like pretty much everything that we've been talking about, guys. So I will say this: my initial thoughts at seeing the stadium, and I'd already heard this as a rumor. So this didn't come as that big of a surprise that the stadium turned out to be the second map. I don't hate the stadium as a map, per se. I know that it was one of the best areas of Hourglass. Lots of people enjoyed fighting over that particular area. And I've seen lots of comments online from people wanting that asset to come back as a map. However, I do feel like DICE has misled us here. I feel like they've been touting seven, season seven to be the first season with two maps, knowing that the community have been asking for more content per season, and now they're finally giving us two maps. I would argue that the stadium is a map rework. In the same way that in the first seasons of the game, we got one new map and then we got a rework. The stadium is a rework. They've just taken the assets from Hourglass. 
they've reworked them, they've added some more cover. Obviously, I haven't played the map or anything like that, but from what I've seen here in this trailer, it looks like they've just reworked that area. Sure, they probably added some more outdoor areas and things like that around it, but for all intents and purposes, this is a map rework. It's not a brand new map, and I feel like they should have just told us the truth because people are going to be disappointed that, like, it's not an actual new map. But that being said, I do think it looks like an awesome map. I think people have really enjoyed Redacted, and I think that shows that this map is going to be really, enjoy you know, an enjoyable experience as well, especially if you're, like, an infantry player. I don't think there's going to be any vehicles in that one. What I think they should have done is really put their money where their mouth is, drop two brand new maps, and then put in the stadium as, like, a just a total surprise, like, mid-season season thing instead of releasing a mid-season game mode. Like, imagine if they just dropped the stadium, like a stealth drop. Boom. There's a third map, guys. You're going to be like, what? Like, that that's awesome. You thought it was misleading, Toasty? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of agree with that. I do think people are going to feel a little bit misled with that. Ooh, check this out, guys. Battlefield 2042 free access March 21st till 24th. That is, that is next week. So it looks like it's going to release probably on the 19th, I would guess. Did it say the release date in the trailer? I didn't even, I didn't even notice the release date if there was one. I think I was too busy losing myself over the, uh, the new air vehicle there. But I would assume it's going to release here on the 19th. And then it's going to be a free weekend on the weekend there. Because it would be weird to just release it on, at the weekend. Okay, let's check out the map here. This is, uh, is, oh, is this a map trailer? Maybe this may be an unlisted YouTube video. Let's, uh, wait, it's gone. It's gone. I refreshed the page. Oh, no. Did they put that in by accident? Let me just go back here. It's gone. They took the video out of the page, man. I swear, I clicked on this page, there was a video. And now it's just, the page looks completely different, right? I'm not going crazy. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, if I was quicker, we could have seen that trailer. They must have put it there. I think that's another little tease or something that they're going to do tomorrow. Maybe, maybe sometime at the beginning of, or the latter part of this week, maybe Monday. I will say this as well. As good as the content looks, we've waited how long for this content? Six months. And what I think DICE really should have done is given us, first of all, two actual new maps. Second of all, they should have given us not two or three new weapons. Obviously, they're only giving us two new weapons, but five or six new weapons. They don't necessarily need to give me two gadgets or two vehicles. I can understand that. Like, one vehicle is fine. One new gadget is fine, especially when you don't really want the gadget pool to become too bloated with, like, more explosive weaponry and things like that. But they could have gone the extra mile and given us, like, double the weapon count for this season since we have waited twice as long. So I feel that was just all marketing. They were kind of just, you know, trying to stroke us on the back and say, hey, guys, we're giving you two maps this time. Oh, nice. Okay, wow, awesome. It's going to be worth the wait. And then it actually totally wasn't worth the wait at all. It, I think this is just another example of them winding down support for the game, though. It, it, that's the only thing that it can really mean in my mind. Oh, wait, there is a third weapon. The DFR Strife. What's the DFR Strife? Why wasn't that? Why hasn't that been shown anywhere? Or have I just missed it completely? That sounds like a... What is the DFR Strife, guys? It's the one with Dozer at the end of the trailer. DF Strike is the AWS, basically. Oh, what, is it this one? Right. Yeah, I see what you mean. It definitely still looks like it's got a 100 round magazine on there, though. It doesn't have a, uh, a drum mag. Or a... What is it called? Is that what it's called in the AWS? Is it still called a drum mag? It's kind of like two... It's like a pair of balls. <laughs> for, for lack of a better, less crude way of describing it. Who's your hungry girl? And who's always interrupting me when I'm trying to record or stream anything all the time? You are. Yeah. I can't believe it was Doha, Qatar, though. Like, the area they were pointing to in the, uh, in the little season 70s where they had the picture on the table and they were pointing to the two maps. I can't believe they were just pointing to the stadium in, in Hourglass. 
I was like, oh, it's really close to Qatar. Maybe it's going to be this island here or somewhere really, really close by. But no, it just actually was the exact same location. The soundtrack as well, I have to say, the soundtrack of uh, this season sounds really, really nice. Little by little, season by season, they seem to be getting the music back to what I would call proper Battlefield music. Question is, are we going to get both of the maps on release, or are they going to release one of them partway through? Right now, it sounds, and the way that they're advertising this, it sounds very much like we're getting both of them next Tuesday, we can jump into everything, but it would be a typical DICE move to just say, oh, by the way, it's only coming halfway through the season. Because that's what they did with the map reworks, and like I said before, I kind of feel like the stadium is a map rework. I agree with USA Specialist here. He says, I feel like the Sraw just copies Liz. That's sort of my worry. Like, the Sraw in past games is way, way harder to use than a TV missile. And Liz's TV missile isn't particularly hard to use in Battlefield 2042 if you've had a little bit of practice with it. So... If that already one-shots a Nightbird, if that already one-shots a stealth helicopter, and if it 80% an attack helicopter, and it one-shots a jet, then what what really is the point in putting in the time required to learn the skill of tow missiling at long ranges? Because if the tow missile mechanics are going to be anything like the vehicles in the game, uh, I don't really know how that's going to work because right now I can tell you from someone who uses vehicles pretty often, the tow missiles are not very reliable, especially not at those longer ranges. I feel like no matter what you do, they just start to start to flit around and sort of fade out of existence. You can't really see where they are at those longer ranges. So unless they've implemented a completely new mechanic here that is unique to the straw, I'm a little bit worried about that. But of course, next Tuesday we are going to get our hands on the game. So, it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out. What do I think about the plane, Atiz? I think the plane looks awesome. I really don't know how it's going to work, though, once again, because I believe the real vehicle is an unmanned drone. So, one thought that I had is, is this something that you can call in, and it's AI-controlled, and it just flies across the battlefield, you click on a button on the map, and it drops a bomb, or it drops an EMP, or whatever... And it seems to also be something you can control. Another worry I have is, assuming this is going to take up one of the vehicle tokens for the jets, so you're going to be spawning this vehicle instead of an SU-57, instead of an F-35, what's to stop the enemy player just getting in an F-35 and absolutely shredding you? It doesn't look like the most agile or nimble of air vehicles, so I'm pretty sure most of our experience is going to be you spawn in there, and the person on the enemy team is going to spawn into a nightbird, or they're going to spawn into a fighter jet, and just shred you. You know? Will this be the last season or not? What do you think? I personally think we will see a season 8. I mean, if we say we're in March now, and we're going to have another 6 month wait, then, what's that? April, May, June, July, August, September... We might see another season in September, maybe earlier. If we're lucky, we won't have to wait six months and it will release during the summertime or just before the summertime, which will be good for DICE. Um, and then we'll have, I think, one year gap between Battlefield games. Jack Frax just said the new stealth jet is coming mid-season in update 7.2. I hope you're joking, Towers. I hope Jack's joking. Cadwoman has a video up here. She's a, she's a good one. Good old Mary. And what it also brings back is a higher level of destruction, similar to the portal version of Erika Harbor, with the houses that can be completely destroyed and walls and ceilings crashing down to bury players underneath. Okay, that's awesome. So it sounds like it's bringing back some of the destruction that we see on other maps like Erika Harbor and Valparaiso, which strangely isn't in most of the other Battlefield 2042 maps. In fact, I've never really understood that, why those maps have these destructible buildings. So this, that destruction, that level of destruction so, is, is possible. It's built into the physics engine of the game, but it just seems to not really be in place in most of the Battlefield 2042 map assets. There are a few limitations to the vehicles though. First of all, there are no jets, simply because the airspace is too small. And from the trailer, it also looks like there are no attack helis and only a small amount of ground vehicles. Yeah, so that's exactly what I thought as well. I wasn't exactly counting, but this does indeed seem like it's going to be one of those maps with a size similar to like Sen Crossing or Grand Bazaar, where... Oh, 
Jesus. Don't step on the microphone, Lopper. You're gonna you're gonna be noisy to the people. She wants her dinner. <laughs> um man, what was I saying? Yeah, so I think we're gonna see tanks and whatever other, you know, maybe there's gonna be a ram or two in there. They're gonna be much more powerful now because there won't be those air vehicles to stop them. So I've always been a big proponent of Battlefield 4 having certain vehicles available on some maps, but not on other maps. So, for example, Flood Zone, I think, was a really good example of a map that had um, a little bird available, but not an attack helicopter, and it didn't have a jet. And all of a sudden, the scout helicopter became like the big daddy of the battlefield on that map. It wasn't being bullied around by the jets and by the attack helicopter, and it really came into its own. And from, from the looks of things here, it seems on Haven that this is something that they're trying to recapture there. So it doesn't seem like it has any jets, no attack helicopters, no stealth helicopters, of course, no new stealth bomber, I don't think at least. It looks like the only air vehicle is going to be the Nightbird. Stadium will not arrive with the start of the season, but instead will be released later, most likely with update 7.2 in about two months. I knew it! I friggin' knew it! Two months? Bro. <laughs> I called it, man. It's, it's, it's just too on brand for DICE, isn't it? Like, not only do you have to re, like, package the same assets, but you've also got to wait two months. Later in the season, also in update 7.2, we'll then see the release of a new vehicle, the so-called XFAT 4 Draugr. This is a cutting-edge aerial bomber that features EMP bombs, radar-guided missiles and more, and can be equipped for more anti-infantry focus or more anti-vehicle, whatever your playstyle is. What okay, so radar missiles... Why radar missiles, DICE? Really? Okay, whatever. Radar missiles. It's got some anti-air capability, so at least you can take out enemy jets and stuff, and you can give it a more anti-air... Uh, sorry. Anti-infantry? What did you say? Anti-infantry or anti-air? And can be equipped for more anti-infantry focus or more anti-vehicle, yeah, whatever okay. your playstyle is. What might also be interesting is that it's a fully pilotable aircraft and not a combat drone like its real-life counterpart, oh. the Russian Sochoi S-70. It won't be available on the new map though, since it would probably flatten it within yep. a few minutes, Agreed. which is why in the trailer it's only shown on Spearhead. Plus, the stealth mode that you can see at the end of the trailer is not only show, it's indeed a feature. But we will learn more about this closer to the release of the vehicle. And alongside of the new season, we will of course also see an all- Closer to the release of the vehicle? Why would you say that? Why wouldn't you say closer to the release of season 7? Cl saying closer to the release of the vehicle makes it sound like this vehicle is going to be released at a different time than season 7. People she said coming in 7.2? So that was the map, that was the map. Right? No! Wait a minute. Later in the season, also in update 7.2, we will then see the release of a new vehicle, the so-called XFAT 4 oh, This is a cutting edge aerial bomber that features... Well, what? Oh, here I am getting all excited. I may as well just log off for two months and, and come back then. ...for more anti-infantry focus <laughs> or more anti-vehicle, whatever your playstyle is. What might also oh, be how could you do me like this, Dice? ...pilotable aircraft and not a combat drone like its real-life counterpart, the Russian... Not even 7.1. Oh, you are the cat woman, and I am awesome. Go give, uh, go give her a sub, guys. Mary, really, really great content creator. Definitely deserves it. Give her some, give her some love. Um, so that's interesting there. We got some additional information about Season 7. I would say, you know, in summary here, I like the content. I like the fact that we're finally getting some content. I just wish there was more of it, like always. And I think it's a little bit of a a punch in the stomach, a kick in the balls, that the second map is just the stadium. I have nothing against the stadium as a map per se, but I just think they really should have released that as a sort of secretive third map, if anything. I feel like they have misled us a little bit into believing that we were getting two completely new maps, and that is obviously not the case. 
Obviously, the release cadence isn't great either, and the fact that they're only releasing some of this stuff, like the second map, and the new vehicle, and I think the SRO as well, and the LMG, in in 7.2. So we're going to have to wait probably around uh, two months or so, eight weeks, to get our hands on half of the content. So it's essentially, instead of them making more content and spreading it out, they're making pretty much the same amount of content and then just drip feeding it to us. I am not a fan of that at all. Don't like that at all. Um, and DICE should do better. And EA should do better. I'm excited to have some more content in the game. Excited to get stuck in. Have a reason to boot up the game again. Have a reason to stream the game again. And um, I would be interested to hear what you guys think down below. So leave those comments down there, guys. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching today. And otherwise... Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. And you are naughty girl trying to ruin my video.